you like macadamia nut cookies? Let's make some. Let's get started. This bowl I have two cups of light brown sugar, it's packed, and one cup of granulated sugar. And I'm going to add my melted butter. You're supposed to use unsalted butter. I don't have any, I have salted butter. So, whenever you use salted butter in your recipe that calls for unsalted butter, for each stick of salted butter, subtract a fourth of a teaspoon of any added salt you're gonna add to the recipe. So, that's what I did. And I am doubling this recipe, because that's what I do. Just checking the recipe. Beat on medium speed until light and fluffy. In this bowl, I have flour, baking soda, and some baking soda, cornstarch, and salt. It's weird, it's not really baking powder. Let's see. And I'm combining the best of two different recipes to make my own. And neither recipe has for baking. So let's we'll see. I'm going to reduce the speed and add the vanilla. And this spoon had a little leftover vanilla in it from the Betty Cox blueberry muffin drops. If you see that video. And we also add in the eggs. In it. And we beat this until well mixed and we add the flour mixture. After that's been combined, we add our white chocolate chips and macadamia nuts. And that's the cookie dough. I'm going to stop it for a minute. Scrape the bottom and make sure everything's getting incorporated. So we'll scrape the sides. Okay. I'm going to whisk the dry ingredients just a little bit more. Add it. Put the rest on this side. Sorry about blocking the camera, but okay. We need the towel to put over. the K.A. because the flower is going to blow around. Okay, there we go. I started to use my A-quart, but I thought, oh, this will handle it. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> Here's the white chocolate chips, and you'll see at the bottom, the here they come, the macadamia nuts. Yeah, this is the limit on this. I have to write a note on my recipe that if I double it, use the A quart. I've unplugged it. Macadamia nuts are in here. There's one there, and these are all the white chocolate chips. It says to 
refrigerate this for at least two hours. It doesn't say anything about covering it, but I am going to cover it. So I'm gonna put saran wrap on this, cover this for two hours, and then I'll come back, make the cookie bowl dolls up. Cookie dough balls, not dolls. I will cook a couple, and then the rest we're gonna flash freeze and freeze, and we can have them whenever we want them. So I'll be back. Okay, the dough stayed in the refrigerator because I forgot about it. Two hours and about 15 minutes, but I've had it sitting out about 30 minutes. And I'm getting ready to scoop some out to bake, and then I will flash freeze the rest. My hands are clean. Don't be in the kitchen cooking or baking with dirty hands. It's getting ready to storm here. I may have put too many chips in here, chocolate chips, white chocolate chips. So I looked at the bag, it's a 24 ounce bag with the white chocolate chips. And I needed three cups of white chocolate chips, so eight, eight, and eight is 24. Then I got to thinking the bag is by weight, not by measuring in the measuring cup, I think, I don't know. But is there such a thing as too much chocolate? <laughs> I don't think so. So, okay. My oven is preheated to 350 and it says these bake in that preheated 350 degree oven for 10 to 13 minutes. So, while these are baking, I'm going to scoop the other ones on the cookie sheet to flash freeze them. I'm only going to show myself scooping out a few of these. And when you flash freeze them, you don't have to worry about spacing. So you can put them close together. You flash freeze them like this, uncovered on a parchment lined cookie sheet for at least an hour. When that time's up, you can take them out and put them in Ziploc bags. And then you freeze them and whenever you want a fresh baked cookie, you take it out and you bake it. I'll be back when the cookies that are baking are done. And I'll let you know how many cookies I ended up flash freezing. Here are the finished cookies. They baked for 10 minutes. I got the seal of approval from the baker, the brother in the family. I make the dough, he bakes them. And he wanted to know if they were brown on the bottom, which they are. That's what they look like inside. I still think he's gonna say it's a little too doughy, but I like the doughiness of it all. So, I'm gonna do a taste test. Oh shoot, losing stuff. <laughs> yeah. That is good. But I think, even though I like doy, I'm gonna put it back in for another minute or so. Just in the warm up, I'm not gonna turn the oven back up. But these are good. Oh, I was worried about having too many chips in there. <laughs> no. I made the right call using the whole bag. If you haven't already, like the video, leave a nice comment, subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, all the best to you and yours, family. I'll see you then. Bye for now.